What's going on, tech friends? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host, and today we've got not one, but two cards to show you. And hey, two is always better than one, right, folks? Hey, at least I think so. I mean, so check this out. We have two of the PNY Accelerate cards. Now, these things are pretty awesome. They are overclocked right out of the box. We have the 780, which features a triple fan design, and then we also have the 770, which features four gigabytes of RAM. So they're both kind of special in their own own way. With that said though, let's jump in and let's see why you guys are going to like these cards. PNY cards, I want to say, are priced quite right. These guys have been around a long time, have a pretty steady warranty, and their products have been generally good all around. So with that said, let's jump in and let's take a closer look at these cards. All right, folks, so we're going to start off with the smaller one, you know, smaller box and everything else. Let's go ahead and go ahead and take the trusty knife here. Sometimes people do ask what knife that I'm using. This one here, I've used it before. This is the SWAT knife. My kid got this for me one time for Christmas, all with a Batman type knife, and it's pretty damn cool. So let's get all this plastic off of here so it doesn't glare the camera and you guys. So this is a four gigabyte version from PNY. It's the Accelerate Enthusiast Edition graphics card, the GeForce GTX 770. Obviously it has all the features that come with any NVIDIA based product, has a lifetime warranty, just spin it around. I guess first off, you guys just get a nice close up of the box. I don't know if a lot of you guys have even seen this product around. We'll show you this real quick. Flip it around to the back so you guys can just get a good view of the box and everything. Like I said, all the key features from NVIDIA are here. Everything that comes with any other NVIDIA card, the same features are going to be rolling along with this one. This is just the PNY flavor of the card. So let's slide it out of the box, set it over there. These guys have pretty simplistic stuff with the way they do stuff. They don't try to go all crazy and they try to make it just very pricey, affordable for you folks. And if you wonder what I'm doing right here, I'm taking a look at this box and going, hey, where does this thing actually come unboxed at? So there we go. I pop a little tab right there and this one pops off. Then we'll have the card. Yarrr! So I try to shake it out of there. Shake that card. Shake that card. Oh boy, this is a little bit difficult there. So let me just pull on this. All right, here we go, folks. So now I'm getting somewhere. So let's see. All right, so that's it. Beyond that, once again, we see the box has nothing in it. So we get adapter, DVI to VGA, a little instruction manual right there, driver disc, and then we're going to get to the card. So you can see it in all its nice plastic glory there. Keep going. We'll pop the top on that. Does it have that new smell? Oh yeah, it has that mm, yummy new product smell. You guys know what I'm talking about, the smell of a beautiful, nice static bag. So check it out. Here in the front, nice design, all yellow and black, kind of bumblebee-ish. Would go great in mods that have to do with Metro and things like that. You guys can see two fans. There's heat fins, and underneath that, they have their copper heat pipes. Turn around to the side. You guys can just see all the components are used under here. PCI interface. Flip it around the back where once again you guys can see more of the aluminum heat fins, more of the parts, the fan connector. Flip it over here where we see a single six pin and single eight pin adapter. No nomenclature or anything on top of the card. Pretty generic as far as that goes. We'll flip it around, take a look at the back of the card. You guys can see a completely black PCP. A lot of builders and users like that. PNY has seen that and they've implemented it into their cards. Flip it around, show you guys the rear I.O. Standard stuff, dual DVI, single HDMI, single display port. So that's card one. Let's move on to card two. Now card two comes in a much bigger box. Cameron probably had to zoom out a little bit for this big old giant box. This is the PNY overclocked triple fan accelerated enthusiast edition graphic card GeForce GTX 780. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we're going to hit that out or not. That was quite funny. So once again, I'm going to take the old uh, trusty knife here. Take a little incision here. Get one across the top as well if I can. Try not to cut the box so we can pull all this plastic off of here. Otherwise, it's just too dang shiny. It shines for you and the camera will be going, hey, you're going to blind me with that glareness. It's kind of like my legs when you see them in bright light. They'll just make you go, hey, what the heck? I had some people at the gym the other day tell me we were in the thing. I said, hey, there's my white legs. They said, I don't know. I just thought it was bright light. But no, they were talking about my legs. So here's the front of the box. Not a lot. Once again, whoops, side of the box. 
Show you guys the back of the box, the same thing as the other card, only much bigger. You can see all the performance things, all the things they're talking about, all the great stuff that comes with NVIDIA. And what's going to be pretty awesome is some new stuff from NVIDIA is coming right around the corner, and you guys are going to really like what you see. Uh, I'm quite impressed with what I saw yesterday's NVIDIA briefing. Once again, all the key features, all that stuff, card, clock speeds, all that stuff. We'll have all close-ups of all that during the video for both cards. You guys can see all that. That's it. Let's go ahead. Let's take it out of the box. Take a closer look at the card. This box, I have to say, was a little bit easier to open though than the other one. It was a giant size box, but it's much easier to open. And the card just slides on out like that. Boom. Alrighty then. Kaslammy, kaslammy, kaslammy. Another little pop of the top. And then this one, well, we have stuff right here. So you guys all know me. Here it goes flying at the cameraman. Woo! Missed him by that much. Eh, maybe that much. I don't know. He ducked. Cheater. All right. So anyways, inside insulation disc. Once again, the adapter. And woe and behold, that's it. And the card. All right. So there we go. Let's take a close up the card. I shall move the box out of the way. And uh, today I'm just in a screw the cameraman mood. So let's just throw it at him. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was just kidding. Come on. Don't be so serious around here. Come on. All right. So here we go. All wrapped up in an anti-static bag. Attention. Attention, it's in a static bag. All right, I think they know that by now though, folks. So let's go ahead and pop that little tab there so we can open up the card and take a look at what's inside. All right then. So this one looks a lot like the other one. You know, this one has uh, three fans. The previous one had two fans. Just might as well show them to you both at the same time so I got them here. So there's a difference between those two cards. Now obviously, three fans instead of two. Same yellow and black design. Card's obviously a lot longer. All on the side, all the fins and all that. Single six pin, single eight pin power connector. You can also see one of the power connectors over here for fans. We'll flip the card around the back. You see more of the heat pipes and stuff, the technology coming here. Since this card is longer and everything, a lot more of the electronics and stuff is back inside of there. So flip it around here, PCI interface. You can still see the fan and all that good stuff. Once again, completely black PCB. Four screws if you want to demount their fan and put on an after one, like if you want to do water cooling and stuff like that. This one's very easy to remove. Just want to point that out. And uh, that's pretty much it other than the rear I.O., which is the same thing. Two DVI, single display port, single HDMI. All right, folks, so that's it. Two brand new cards from PNY. My contact over there said they will have a 780 Ti out very, very, very soon. But these are the cards they have out now. So for all the information about this, if you're looking for all that stuff like the RAM speeds and all that kind of stuff, we'll have all this down below in the description as well as pricing and availability. So if you're looking to buy one or check more information out, make sure you guys check out everything down below that like button. If the video seemed a little bit rushed today, folks, it actually really was. I was like almost like running late to a doctor's appointment so we really had to get on the ball and get this thing going but we wanted to make sure we could bring it to you guys so you guys could see it so hey love you guys see you later but i gotta go off to a doctor's appointment to check out how going to the gym has affected my diabetes that said hasta la vista babies